Science. For several years, doctors have been all too aware of the dangers posed by superbugs, infections picked up in hospitals. In the UK, it's thought around one in ten people contracts an infection in hospital. These are defined as an infection caught in healthcare setting, which appears 48 hours or more after admission. There have to be at least three factors to define an illness as a hospital infection, an infectious agent, a mode of transmission and a receptive subject. In most cases, the germs are transmitted by hand, but bacteria are also passed on on shoes, door handles, work surfaces and in the air. There are several germs, notably the Staphylococcus, because these are germs which live on the skin, saprophytes, but which can become multi-resistant. For a variety of reasons, possibly because the patient is in a weakened state or because in the midst of a hospital a large range of antibiotic treatments are in use, which are going to cause bacterial resistance. One hundred thousand deaths are linked to hospital infections each year in the U.S., around a third of that number in the EU. The age of patients, the emergence of resistance to antibiotics are the two principal risk factors. In many European healthcare establishments, staff are trying hard to rid themselves of this scourge. At least a third of these deaths, according to recent studies, are preventable. The key is hygiene, wearing gloves and masks, sterilizing equipment and cleaning surfaces. There are several bacterial disinfectants on the market. One, recently developed, uses color to show when it's worked. It's blue when it's sprayed on. After it becomes transparent, nearly all the germs have been killed. Blue 2 was designed here in villeneuve sur tarn near Toulouse. This is where the company which brought it to the production line is based. Director Bernard Joannike believes the product will help healthcare establishments. It cleans, disinfects and neutralizes smells. The main target of the product and why it was created concerns all medical and paramedical, so that's clinics, hospitals, retirement homes, nursery, rehab centers, ambulances, fire engines and so on. Today, with the obsessive fear linked with hygiene regarding H1N1, listeria and cow disease, many sectors across the world will in theory be interested by our product. This nursery, which looks after about 20 young children, has decided to buy in the disinfectant. Staff hope it'll cut down on infections passed from child to child, like colds and stomach bugs. We disinfect the tables. Normally after an activity, we disinfect them again. The toys too, because the children put lots of the toys in their mouths. And this is how lots of germs are passed around. From hospitals to nurseries, sprays like this make a difference, cutting down on infection rates and helping to keep people healthy.